Done really good work over the summer. That's obvious. Those are my first impressions. They did uh, due diligence in uh, conditioning and were a much better starting point condition wise and uh, much more familiar with the, uh, the schemes and uh, they kind of knew where to go. How do you measure as far as where they're at? Like what, uh, how, do, how do you gauge that? Well, there's not, uh, there's a couple of uh, alignment uh, coaching things that guys were, were caught off guard with, but not many. And uh, geez, we left off, uh, we pick up right now kind of where we left off that last week in spring, which uh, that being the case, you know, it's obvious to a, a coach that the kids have been working at it pretty good. How about your new guys, some of the new bodies that just showed up? Uh, you know, the newcomers and the guys that were hurt last spring, uh, it, it is a shock. I'm not going to lie. It's a shock to them. And I'm sure you can ask them. Uh, I, I don't think that they'll, they'll gonna want to hide the fact. It's, it's a shock to them. So our guys that were out, uh, Cody, uh, Riker, uh, JD, you know, they're, they're just now getting into this new thing. And, and you know, I, I, I got to give the kids credit. They hung in there pretty good for it. What do you want to accomplish in the first, uh, say, you know, four or five days? Uh, the culture, uh, going fast, going hard uh, on every play. And, uh, boy, there were times today where it kind of showed the guys that weren't. And, and, and dang, I'll be darned. Uh, sometimes that got exposed, especially in the team periods. But, uh, you know, for the most part, the majority of the guys were were right on the money with with going fast and going hard. A lot of new faces in the offensive line. Do you like the talent you see here today? That's sort of ready to go this oh yeah, I think our old line is very capable. They sure are. Yeah, they, you know, they're all. We got uh, the three freshmen and the four JUCO kids, and it's right now they're all in shock. But uh, I, I think by the time we get through camp, they'll probably have a better grip, a better handle. On what we're doing. From what you saw today, are you comfortable with the athletes that can run? Do you have the type of athletes that can run this system that you're putting in? Oh yeah, shoot, our skill, man, our, our, our skill, we've got very good answers, very good answers. Guys can run, uh, they're athletic, and uh, they've been, uh, they look different. They've been uh, conditioning, they look different, they sure do. The problems with the snap today, just first day jitters or? or yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, you know, we're breaking in uh, a couple of brand new centers who've really never done that. So it's, uh, their project centers are not natural centers. So there's learning curve involved there. Coach, what do you, what do you think needs to be accomplished the most before game one? Uh, to master every spot at the highest level. Uh, will that happen? Boy, we're, we're, I don't know, but we're gonna try to get as close uh, as we can to it. Uh, but right now, the task at hand is learning how to, to play fast and play hard. Right now, that's what we're, as a staff, as a group, focusing on doing. Which position group has the furthest to go until mastery has been accomplished? Oh, that's tough to tell. Uh, you know, I'll probably be uh, right on the money a week before the bowl game with that. <laughs> <laughs> right now, man. That one's way out there for me. Will you talk about Taysom Hill and his performance today, how you thought he looked? Oh, boy, Taysom's done his work. Boy, his body is uh, its a machine. Man, that guy looks like a NFL safety. Uh, conditioning test was no problem. And, uh, uh, he's fast, he's mobile, and uh, nice, nice little touch on the ball. Mitch Matthews had a few nice catches out there. Do you expect big things from him this year? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Mitch has is, is worked hard. Another one, boy, he's transformed his body and just off a mission. That, you know, that's not easy to do. Uh, Austin Cauley uh, had that challenge as well. And, and you know, those, that first couple games it was tough. He was fighting, uh, nagging this and that. And, uh, you know, it just, it just doesn't come back to a guy. And, and I think Mitch has made good progress. You mentioned Cauley. 
do you compare this team to any particular season from when you were here at BYU the first time, or do you try to avoid those comparisons? Yeah, I do. I really do try to avoid. I only try to compare guys to our 84 team, and there's no chance. That's how <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I, I, I think guys need to be uh, kind of looked at uh, as their own group, and I don't think it's fair for a coach to, to compare them to a different group. Can you talk about the mentality just as far as uh, that's fucking, um, just as far as coming into this year, you had you, there were so many demands in spring, and then you knew the you, you set some pretty high standards for what you wanted to accomplish during summer. As these guys come into fall. Just talk about where they are mentally, just as far as the mentality. Well, the first thing I look for is how hard can a guy go? How many plays before he starts to, to, to tap out? And, uh, you know, for the most part, I didn't see but, but uh, a few of those today. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to name their, their names, but uh, trust me, they will be uh, uh, shown in team. And, and uh, you know, the idea is when a guy can't go anymore, someone else goes in. And uh, that's what uh, that's what our I I hope that's what our games look like. Do you feel the, a sense of excitement with that approach, that mentality? Oh yeah, I, I really believe uh, uh, that is e essentially who we're going to be—a team that uh, will go harder and go faster than the opponent through the entire game. Coach, will the O line in particular be built with the expectation that there will be some rotation uh, because of tempo? You know, we do not have one uh, bona fide starter. Uh, this is the beginning of camp, and we are going to try a bunch of different rotations. And hopefully by the end of camp, going into that, uh, that game week, we will have a pretty good idea of who our top, you know, eight, ten guys are up there. And, and shoot, if we got top ten, man, there were years at Texas Tech where I rotated ten guys all year. And, Man, we were we were killer because they were always fresh. You know. What's the status of Michael Lisa? Ah, uh, you know, Mike's been uh, injured off and on throughout the summer, and uh, he was out there running around today. But uh, he, he's got a no contact clause, so you know, I don't. I'm not a doctor, and I can't. Is tell that you. because of the arm? Broken you know, he's had uh, a couple of things, so right now it's just rest, rest, and. Hopefully everything gets well for him to go full speed. But right now he cannot go full, full go.